The TechServe CNC system has got a bunch of features to save you time and money, such as easy to program flexi shapes, so it makes structural steel shapes like this, NC1 import, automatic nesting, lots of other functionality. New feature we've introduced is common line cutting. So producing two parts, or as many parts as you like that are the same, if you put them together and cut this as one cut, you produce two pieces and you save cutting time, you save piercing and um, increase your throughput because we don't have the time to cut that twice. Take things to extremes. If we were to do more of these or stick them in an array going this way, every outside line is basically producing two parts. So you can half the cutting time on the outers. So this is what the new feature in the TechServe CNC system does. So I'll give you a quick demonstration of that. To use a common line cut facility, first we need to make a shape. So we'll go into our flexi shapes, we'll choose our favorite generic shape, and we'll make ourselves a rectangle. In this case, you need to have a, it needs to be a rectangle or a square. We can't have any radius on the corners for what the obvious reasons. So we'll do a new shape, uh, we'll make it 100 wide, and 180 long, just a wonderful number, with a 10 milli leading. We'll add a cutout, we'll do a circle, 22 diameter, 50 across, and 30 up from this bottom corner here, 30. Uh, add another cutout, another circle, 22 diameter, 50 across, or we'll another 100 up. So there's our shape, we'll then give it a name, uh, we'll call it array, video. So there's our shape. What we want to do now is turn this into an array. Uh, so we go, if we exit, I would go to scan and nest. So this is our, like our utility screen. So plate fill is our name for array. So import flexi. So this is a flexi shape we've just created, or we can import an NC1 file direct. Again, it needs to be a square or rectangle. We can't have corners or radius, or radius anywhere. Import Flexi, uh, most recent, so Array Video. So what, have we do, what we've done now is it's got a virtual plate in there, 800 by 1200. It's calculated the size of the component and it's fitted them in an array nest. It might be if you've got longer parts, you might want to uh, rotate them, cut them that way around. The choice is yours. Uh, what we need to do first really is measure our piece of plate. Um, put some proper numbers in. So we'll cut this 600 by 800. So plate size 600 by 800. Renest. So there's our nest. Um, automatic compensates for curves. So there's a curve allowance in there. It tells us down here how many, how many we're going to fit in. So we've got a row five by four. Um, so that's now done. Next, choose the correct current and uh, process. So this Max Pro 200, this one. So we've got 10 mil thick material, 130 amps, oxy process, mild steel. If we change the current, then we select different speeds. It automatically sets all this lot up. We have to set the current on the plasma manually. Uh, press next. We're going to start this array in the bottom left-hand corner here. Uh, we've already positioned the torch. So we just have to go into cut mode and press start. So we'll move the camera and take a video of the thing cutting.
So pros and cons. Pros, it's a lot quicker. Pros, there's absolute minimum amount of scrap. Bolt ready holes. Super easy to program. Saves uh, compressed air or oxygen. Saves consumables. Win-win. Cons are the right hand side of a plasma cut is straighter than the left hand side. So in this instance, you probably can't see here, but one side has got a straighter edge and one side has a slight angle. So if you're prepared to make this compromise, then this could be the system for you. If this is a structural plate and it's going up in the rafters, or it's a base plate and it's been buried into concrete, then maybe the edge quality uh, is not a concern. Certainly on the more modern plasmas, this taper, even on the bad side, is fairly minimized. Uh, but that's obviously your choice. Uh, you are restricted to the shapes you can cut. Nothing with a radius for obvious reasons. Uh, everything, it's got to be square or rectangular. Well, that's about it.